Good morning children. Hope you were able to complete the previous day's work. It was nice to meet you all in the Zoom class. Hope to meet you again this Friday. So today we are going to see the topic pressure in gases. Pressure in gases. First we saw pressure in solids, then we saw in the last class pressure in liquids. Now we are going to see about pressure in gases. Like liquids, gases also exert pressure on the body which comes in its contact. It can exert pressure in all directions, sideways, downwards and even upwards. Now, an important uh, topic to be studied under pressure exerted by gas is atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Okay. So, from the def from the statement itself you can understand this is pressure exerted by the atmosphere okay so you all know our earth is surrounded by air which is generally referred to as earth's atmosphere now anything that has weight will exert a pressure so same way pressure exerted by air column above us is called atmospheric pressure so that's the definition if they ask you to define atmospheric pressure you will say Pressure exerted by air column above us is called atmospheric pressure. And then the value of atmospheric pressure is about 10 raised to the power of 5 Pascal. Okay, Pascal is the unit of pressure you know. So 10 power 5 means 1 lakh Pascal. Doesn't it seem to be quite high? Yes, 1 lakh Pascal of um, pressure is constantly exerted by air on your head. But do you feel like that? No, right? Generally, we don't feel any pressure on our head or anything like 1 lakh Pascal of pressure is acting on our head. No, we don't feel that. Okay, there is a reason for that. We'll see that later. Now, we'll see one activity that demonstrates the presence of atmospheric pressure. Okay, this you can try at home. Take a glass, completely fill it completely with water and Cover it with a cardboard, um, a small cardboard, okay. Now, cardboard piece. Now, carefully invert it, okay. Carefully invert it by holding the cardboard and then slowly take out your thumb out, okay. Press the palm of your left hand on the top of the cardboard and quickly invert the glass with your right hand. What do you observe? You will observe that, okay. So, you invert it and stop holding the cardboard. But the cardboard will still remain stuck to the glass. Though you have inverted it, so much of water is exerting a pressure on it. But still, the cardboard will remain stuck to it. Why? Because from inside, yes, water is exerting pressure. But from outside, air is exerting a pressure. That's called the atmospheric pressure. And this is more than the pressure inside. That's why it is able to keep standing without falling. Okay. You can try this and see. The next one. As I told you, though about a lakh, one lakh of, one lakh pascal of pressure is exerted by atmosphere, we don't generally feel it right we don't generally feel it what is the reason behind it okay so it's written the effect of atmospheric pressure is as if an elephant is sitting on your head just imagine okay and the weight is and his weight is felt by you but do we feel anything no we don't why here comes the reason we don't usually feel this pressure it's because our blood pressure balances the atmospheric pressure so, from outside, air pressure is acting. From inside, our blood is also exerting a pressure. Okay, you have heard this term blood pressure, BP, okay, which they, uh, they can measure it and it is supposed to be at a particular level. Okay, the pressure with which the blood is flowing. So, this pressure is nearly equal to the atmospheric pressure so it balances it that's the reason why you don't feel the atmospheric pressure pressing you or compressing you okay 
so this can come in reasoning question even though the atmospheric pressure is so high why we do not feel this pressure okay so then um, this is another important information um, the device used to to measure atmospheric pressure a special device is used that's called barometer that's called barometer and uh, it measures atmospheric pressure in terms of height of mercury column you need to remember this statement also how does it measure in terms of height of a mercury column and uh, standard atmospheric pressure standard value of atmospheric pressure is found to be pressure exerted by 76 centimeter of mercury or 0 0.76 meter now we know that density of mercury is 13.6 into 10 power 3 okay so kg per meter cube it's a standard value and so the height of the mercury is 0 0.76 into density of mercury is this into g is 9.8 okay this is how they get um, the value like if you multiply all this you will get 1.013 into 10 power 5 pascal now 1.013 0 0.13 is very small so you can omit it so it will become 1 into 10 power 5 just that is 10 power 5 pascal so this is how you got this 10 power 5 pascal they are just showing you how you got it you don't have to um, memorize these values or anything just understand it how you get it that's enough okay the important thing to be noted is uh, in a barometer atmospheric pressure is measured in terms of height of mercury column in terms of height of mercury column please uh, remember this and this that's enough now coming to variation of atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is more at sea level and gradually decreases as we go higher and higher okay as you go to higher altitudes atmospheric pressure will be less in calm weather during winter season atmospheric pressure is somewhat more on a stormy summer day atmospheric pressure is less in days like this when the when it is very hot and the atmospheric pressure is supposed to be low that's the reason why we get these dust storms very often because pressure atmospheric pressure is very low here come to the last part that is effects of atmospheric pressure because of this atmospheric pressure there are some practical applications in our day to day life first example liquid rises in a syringe when its piston is pulled up due to atmospheric pressure okay so you all have seen a syringe yeah so the nurse uh, while giving an injection first she will be pressing the piston you all understand what is a piston so this is the syringe yeah a piston somewhat looks like this a syringe somewhat looks like this so this is the main part and to which a needle is fixed and then this is called the piston okay this part is called the piston so generally before um, they, they insert it into a some medicine bottle right and then uh, take out um, the medicine into it right so first what they'll do is they will press this down okay by pressing this down they're pushing all the air outside they're pushing all the air outside so inside there is very less pressure but outside atmospheric pressure is acting on this uh, medicine in the medicine bottle and therefore that is being pushed inside okay so even if you don't understand it just remember this liquid rises in a syringe when its piston is pulled up that's due to atmospheric pressure same way ink gets filled in a fountain pen due to atmospheric pressure same way fountain pen also works ink filler so when you um, use the ink filler so first you press it and dip it inside the ink pot and then you release it ink will start rising in, inside what happens 
when you press it, you're pressing all the air out. So the atmospheric pressure acting on the ink pushes it inside the inside the um, ink filler, and that is how ink rises in an ink filler. Okay. So these are all some of the effects of atmospheric pressure. A third one, rubber suction pads. I'm sure you'd have seen this. These are those um, plastic um, um, transparent ones. Um, like when you press it against a wall or something and you take your hand, it remains stuck to the wall. You will have hangers and all attached to it. Okay, if you want to, like you don't have a nail and you want to have a hanger somewhere. So, use, using rubber suction pads, you can just, it will have a hanger fixed to it. So, this rubber suction pad, you can press against the wall. It will remain stuck to the wall and then you can use it as a hanger. Okay, now how does that work? Now, when you press this rubber suction pad against the wall, same way, you're pushing out all the air inside. You're pushing out all the air inside and there is a vacuum created or there is an empty space created from outside atmospheric pressure air will be exerting a pressure on it and that will make it stand when a suction pad is pressed against a flat surface that's the first point air is forced out of its sucker reducing the pressure inside reducing the pressure inside okay that's a that's the first point when you press the suction pad against a flat surface it forces out the air and therefore the pressure inside reduces therefore what happens outside atmospheric pressure being higher firmly pushes the sucker and it sticks to the wall you press it and leave it it will remain stuck okay because from outside atmospheric pressure is acting from inside there is no pressure because you pre when you press you took out all the air so there is just empty space inside empty space will not have any pressure but from outside the air is exerting a high pressure that's making it stand in its place okay okay this is a very important one the same uh, principle only lizards also have you seen sometimes lizards um, walking in the in the roof it'll it'll look as if they'll fall down they'll be upside down but they'll they'll comfortably walk how is that possible they're able to adhere adhere means stick stick to the wall because their feet works like a suction pads each feet works like like a suction pad so every time when it presses against the wall atmospheric pressure from outside pushes it and helps it stuck to it so when they ask you lizards how are lizards able to adhere to the walls i just don't want you to you should not it's not enough if you just write like suction pads you have to write the whole thing okay you have to write the whole thing that is very important the write the entire thing okay and then you're able to suck a cold drink through a straw on account of atmospheric pressure how is it possible when you suck a, a straw the air pressure inside the straw becomes less than the atmospheric pressure the outside pressure pushes the cold drink into the straw now suppose you are drinking um, cold drinks from this glass using a straw okay using a straw now the first time when you suck the first time when you suck the first sip you do actually you won't get any juice coming out why because you just removed all the air from inside you removed all the air from inside now when you remove this the inside pressure becomes very low but from outside atmosphere because this part is open atmosphere is exerting a pressure and that's the atmospheric pressure acting on it now because this pressure is acting it will push the liquid inside inside there is no pressure so definitely liquid flows from high pressure to low pressure so the liquid from here rises inside the uh, straw and it comes into your mouth okay. same way astronaut wears, wears a special suit to maintain pressure equal to atmospheric pressure as you go higher and higher atmospheric pressure decreases but inside your body pressure is high okay it works just the opposite of 
sea divers wearing swimsuit when they go inside water outside pressure is more that can crush their body now astronauts case they are going above the surface of earth into space so their atmospheric pressure is less in such cases what can happen is the blood pressure the inside pressure will become so high that the person can burst off or blood will start coming out from his nose and mouth and person can even die so they wear a special suit so that the outside pressure and inside pressure remains equal nearly equal at least okay atmospheric pressure decreases with increase in altitude at high altitudes atmospheric pressure is low as compared to blood pressure the imbalance may cause burst of bursting of blood vessels like nose bleeding you'd have seen heard this some people when they go to higher altitudes they have nose bleeding the reason being the same when they go to higher altitudes atmospheric pressure decreases but their blood pressure is still higher so some blood comes out through the nose to equalize this pressure that's why they have nose bleeding the last one when we blow air in a balloon it bulges out due to pressure exerted by the air filled in it this is a very simple example okay so these effects of atmospheric pressure are very important you can have expect lot of reasoning questions from this now the homework for today will be so i'm sure you've done till question number 12 the previous day now please strike off question number 13 okay because as i told you activities they generally don't ask in icse so you can cut off question number 13 but i think i'm giving you another question okay please note this down you can pause your video and note it down name the device used to measure atmospheric pressure second part how does it measure okay how does it measure the answer will be barometer first part answer for the first part is barometer second part in terms of height of mercury column then 14th question will be the same okay 14th question you can write this and find write the answer for this 15th turn to the next page 15th question write two effects of atmospheric pressure any two or the first two you can write now apart from this there are three more extra questions please note it down question number 16 how are lizards able to adhere to the wall how are lizards able to adhere to the wall please pause it and note it down in your book 17 how are we able to suck cold drink through a straw how are we able to suck cold drink through a straw and then 18th question why don't we feel the large atmospheric pressure acting on our bodies why don't we feel the large atmospheric pressure acting on our bodies so the homework for today will be we will have to write the answers for these five questions okay so 13 to 18 okay along with this i want you to write the answers for define these terms and differentiate between the following along with those five question answers please write the answers for define these terms and differentiate between the following thank you children if you have any doubt you can clear it in the zoom class during the zoom class i will be asking few of you to show your notebooks so when you sit for the zoom class please have your physics notebooks along with you with you okay so that if i ask you to show you have to show it please be prepared if there is any pending work please finish it thank you